Hello, awesome morticians. Let's explore the new Mortic community portal. In this video, I'm going to talk through how you sign in and set up your user profile. So the first thing to mention is that with the new Mortic community portal, you can use your existing forums, username and password. So if you click on this button here, it will open up the dialogue to allow you to log in with your Mortic community forums login. If you don't yet have a login, it will allow you to create one and you will then be able to use those credentials on the forum as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click the button to log in. Sometimes this does take a few seconds to actually go through the process, but then you will see successfully authenticated from your Malta community login account. And then at the top of the page, you'll notice that there are different languages available if you prefer. But what we're going to focus on for now is the menu, the item underneath your name. So this allows you to customize your account, your public profile, and also see notifications and direct messages. Let's start off with my account. So this is where you can configure your avatar that others will see in the portal whenever you engage here. You can configure your email address and all of your details and which locale you prefer to browse the website uh, using. The notification settings is important. So this allows you to actually control what you get notified about within the community and how frequently. So you can select here or you can deselect the things that you would like to be notified about. You can choose if you get a daily summary email, a weekly summary email or real time or no updates by email. I would recommend daily or weekly would be a good option. I have real time just because I want to know what's happening in the portal at the moment. Updates is a bit like a newsletter feature. So teams or us as a whole portal, we might send an update every now and then. If you want to receive those, then you can check that here. Do you want to allow people to send you a direct message that anyone could send you a direct message on this platform, even if you don't follow them? So you could uncheck that if you don't want to allow people to send you a direct message. And then this uh, is an admin section. So you won't need to worry about the administrator section. So do set this to your own preferred noise level. You can always come back and change this in the future. Membership. So we have a membership option for the Maltic community. You can become an individual member for $100 a year or a pro rata amount based on where you are registered for tax purposes. And you can become a company member. So this membership section, basically we maintain a list of who is actually an active member at this point in time, and we synchronize that list regularly. This allows you to verify your account against this list. Now, if you're a member and you're not coming up on this list, please drop us an email or a message on Slack because it might be that the email address you used when you paid on Open Collective doesn't actually match the email address that you use on um, the community portal we can make some manual tweaks to make that work. So just drop us a message. There are also groups that you can create yourself and that you can uh, join. So you'll see those here as well. You can select what areas of the project you're interested in, and you will then um, hear about events relating to them in your profiles timeline tab. So check or uncheck. I would just leave them all selected for now. And if it becomes too noisy, you can turn them off in the future. The My Data section, this allows you to download all the information that we hold on you in this system. And then this one allows you to delete this account and provides uh, a reason here to delete your account. Then when we go under My Public Profile, this is what your profile looks like to the public. At the timeline, this shows uh, activity and you can choose the kind of thing that you want to filter by. So this would only show me meetings, this would only show me posts. This would only show me proposals. You get the drift. Activity is showing the activity that I've been involved in. Badges, those of you who like gamification, there are lots of badges available. We can have a look here. And so you can see how you could earn the badge and there's different levels as well. So yeah, knock yourself out, have fun. This is the resources that you follow. These are the followers. So people who follow you and these are the groups that I'm part of and you can see I can click to view the groups. On the left hand side this is my username so that's what people would use to mention me. This is my profile so we set this in the step before and for people who have official roles in the, in the community 
and they can be officialized by the administrator team so that you know that they are the person who does that role. This shows you the assemblies, which I'm a member of, and this shows you what I'm following and, and the followers and so forth. You also have the option here to create a group. So if you wanted to create like an informal group to chat about things, or maybe if you're creating like a tiger team to work on user experience and you want to be able to follow and endorse things based on the tiger team, you can create a group to do that. We'll talk about that in another video about what that means. So that's a very quick walkthrough of the user profile, how to configure it, what all the sections are, and what it looks like to the user, basically. In some other videos, I'm going to talk through all the different sections of the portal, what they mean, and why you might use them.